Hey guys, and welcome to a very special video. Today I will be doing a random rant video. Now this is a video series that I started over a year ago that I have not done in over a year. Um, and I decided to do for this video. Just a quick thing, as you'll notice, the the shelves have changed with what is on them now as I am getting ready to go away to school. A lot of my stuff is packed up and I'd have to pack up all my Funko Pops. The two up there are actually... Um, a present for uh, one of my friends, so those are just there until I can give them to her. But anyways, um, you'll be seeing this for the next few videos. But anyways, let's just get right into this. So, if you saw my J.K. Rowling Wizarding World box opening that I did uh, earlier this week, you'll notice that at the towards the end of the video, I talked about how I can no longer recommend Loot Crate. And so for today's rant, I'll be ranting about why I can no longer recommend Loot Crate to you guys or to, you know, my friends or my family. So I have been getting Loot Crate for over a year now. I got my first Loot Crate box September of last year, and the theme of that one was speed. So the first the first reason that I'm going to give of why I cannot recommend this to people is for the price. The price of it is kind of expensive, and they did raise the price of it at the beginning of this year, and they recently just raised the price of the shipping. The shipping was $4 a month. They just raised $7, and I will read you guys the quick little email that they sent out about why they believed that they should, why they raised the shipping price, why they believed that they should have raised it. Let me see if I can find Here we go. Okay. Here we go. So it says, Dear Looter, starting December 24th, we'll be updating the price of shipping and handling to keep up with the rising costs of our mail and distribution partners. Your one month loot crate shipping and handling fees will be going up by $3 per month. You'll be charged this new rate on your next scheduled billing date, which can be found in your user account. We know that changes in pricing can have an impact on your budget, so we broke the increases into two phases. We began this process in May by addressing rising product costs so that we could deliver to your door some of the best gear, apparel, and collectibles in our five year history. Based on your feedback, we've aimed to deliver more authentic and original collectibles than ever before, and supported amazing artists like Kat Haynes as she and many other female artists reinterpreted some of the entertainment's biggest franchises for our loot for her fashion line. We're excited about the year ahead, and we appreciate your support. Thank you for everything, and happy holidays. We love you, Team Loot Crate. Well, I do think it is amazing that they are showcasing these women, which I think is awesome that they're doing this for the loot for her, showcasing these awesome artists. What I don't agree with is raising the shipping price for the items that they are putting in it. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So I'm going to pull, um, every month you get a little magazine in there and it tells you what comes in the boxes and everything. So I'm going to get you the one from the first loot credit I ever gotten from the most recent one. So the first loot credit I ever got, like I said, was September of last year. And the theme of it was speed. And the one that I just got for last month, for November, was the theme was Unite 2.0. So, I'll do the most recent one. They have not been putting a lot of items in recently. So, last month we got a pin. A Voltron t-shirt. And I'm actually going to talk about the t-shirts um, and how that's another reason why I can't recommend it. They gave us a Funko Pop. A Justice League America comic book, a Power Ranger mini figurine, um, and every month with their pins you get a special download. Um, you get a free comic and you get to download. So we got to download the comic series Valiant, uh, Val, yeah, Valiant, yeah, Valiant, um, and then we could direct to download Batman the Telltale series, and then every month. I will say one cool thing about them is every month you can turn the box into something you can turn the box into Zordon. Okay, so in all in all, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five items in the box itself. So I'm going to show you guys what I got in my first loot crate ever. The speed one. So the box turned into a car, which was really cool. 
we got a hood ornament and you could get either the flash or green arrow i got the flash in my box and i actually purchased the arrow one off of loot vault that's what the arrow one looks like but i got the flash hood ornament we got the battlestar galactica scar vinyl replica and let me tell you this thing is so cool <clears throat> Then we got a Stark Racing t-shirt from Iron Man 2. And then we got a Batwing keychain. We got a Gone in 60 Seconds, Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor diecast car. And it's about the size of a Hot Wheel, but it came in really nice packaging and it's really, really nice. Plus we got the pin. So in this one we got one, two, three, four, five, six items. So, I mean, it's down by one item but it was just like the items that i got in this one were a, were just a lot better they were nicer quality they've been putting these like little figurines in every month and they're just not worth the cost if you take out the pin and the shirt because those are surefire items we got three items from this one now the funko pop while it is a very cool item it is a very rare item to get in loot crate there you've only had a few exclusive Funko Pops so yes while getting the Funko Pop was a nice item and kind of made this box worth it it's just the items they've been putting in just aren't that great quality like the Funko Pop is cool but these little figurines like these are figurines like I could go and buy a Funko Mystery Mini and be satisfied like I don't want the like the little figurines they've been putting in and yes it's a cool figurine but like I mean it's like with with those figurines what if people don't like power rangers and stuff like that i don't know and I, like don't get me wrong i love getting comic books like funko used to put comic books in all of their superhero boxes but they would also put in you know you get the funko pops you get a t-shirt you got a patch and a pin and another item you know comic book reprints are a dime a dozen now i can go to five below and i can buy a 10 pack of comic or a five pack of comics for five bucks or i can go get a reprint of a comic there for like a dollar so while it's really cool to get a reprint like this and it's got a certificate of authenticity, I can just go and get comic books pretty much anywhere. And reprints like this, they're not worth anything. So it was just like, we just got quality items. Like you get free items, you get this stinky little figure, a comic book and a Funko Pop. While the Funko Pop is cool, I mean, not everybody plays video games, not everybody plays Overwatch. <clears throat> I do love the Funko Pop, but it was just like... <clears throat> like, but in this one, we got really cool items. We got a bunch of replica stuff. So, <clears throat> let me grab these magazines, and I can, like, show you guys what the old ones used to be like. They were really, really good. <clears throat> like, this is my stack. These are the magazines I've gotten from all of the loot crates I've gotten. Just quite a few. <clears throat> so, let me read you, like, my favorite loot crate I ever got was this magical box. <clears throat> it came with a Doctor Strange Q-Fig, and if you guys have seen my video from, I want to say, if you've seen my, uh, what I got for Christmas 2017 video, you'll see I love Q-Figs. They're just, they're a little more detailed than Funko Pops are, and it's a cool figure. We also got a Fantastic Beast shirt, and I actually love Fantastic Beast. I actually love it more than Harry Potter, just because of you know, it's not centered around one person. It's centered around a bunch of people. We also got this Game of Thrones journal. It's a really nice journal, too. We got we got a comic book. But the thing is, we already got, like, a really cool t-shirt. We got a really cool figure. So getting a comic book isn't bad because we got some cool stuff. Plus, we got an Elder Scrolls pen and actually gave you, like, an upgrade. If you had Elder Scrolls Online, it gave you an Imperial Edition upgrade for the game. It's just the items that they have been putting in recently just have not been worth the price that they're charging now. And they're they're really expensive now for their crates. And it's just, it's really disappointing because I remember when they used to give really cool stuff in their, their boxes. So that's the first reason why I just couldn't recommend this, just because of the price, and I'm going to attach items to it, to that little part, part of it, is I just, the price that they're charging and the items they're giving, it's just not worth it. 
when I can go to Geek Fuel and get cooler items from them and get Steam downloads and a really cool Stranger Things mug and a really cool pin. You know, it's just with these, with there being so many subscription boxes nowadays, everybody has to try and, you know, keep up. Like, who's going to have the best one? Like, I know that, you know, Funko's been trying hard to be like, to try and be like different, and that's not working out. And I think Loot Crate is just bringing the value down. They're not giving their customers the value that they're charging. So that's the first reason is price and items that come in it. Now, I had pointed out that I would talk about the shirts. I will say, the one thing I loved about Loot Crate from the beginning up until now was the shirts. Every month you get an exclusive shirt from Loot Crate. And they were awesome. And they recently just switched over to, they have, um, every month they have Loot Wear, which is their exclusive clothing crate. And every month you get different clothing items. And they started using that for their shirts before they used to, like, send it out from other, you know, manufacturers before they started making their own stuff. <clears throat> and that was great. Once they first switched over, everything was fine. At first, you know, the shirts were great. Most recently, though, starting with, I believe it was... I had to do two shirts for this. Starting in, I think it's September. I don't know what happened, but I wear a 2X. <clears throat> this shirt I have on, this is from my Hulk box from Funko. And it's a 2X, and it fits me really well. Like, if that's my shirt size. And it's been my shirt size since I started getting these boxes. And recently, their shirts haven't been fitting me. They've been... And it's not even that they're short. <laughs> it's not even like I could get them on, and they, but they were, like, short. So I don't know if they changed the length on them or something, but they were short. And, like, you know, I'm kind of tall, so it's like... I don't know what they did, but it's like 2X is still for me really well, so... I mean, I will say their customer service team was great about giving me some replacements. I need to contact them because my November shirt I need to get a replacement for because I didn't change my shirt, my shirt size in time. But it was just like, I don't know what they did different about it, but they definitely changed their shirt size. And it's just, it bothers me because I love their shirts. Their shirts are awesome. Um because I know with, like, the Funko ones, you're not guaranteed a shirt every month, and so I like getting a shirt every month. It's really cool. It's really cool going out in public and seeing other people wearing, like, the same shirts and being like, oh, you have Loot Crate too. That's really awesome. So I loved the shirts. It was just really sad, to, like, that they changed the sizing because they switched everything over. So that'd be another reason on my list of reasons why I couldn't recommend them. It's just the shirts are just... I don't know what they did different about the shirts, but it's like, you definitely have to be very careful. So you're, I would definitely recommend if you are going to get Loot Crate, I'm not saying, you know, if you want to get Loot Crate, you, you know, you find one you like, and you have the money for it, and it's what you want, I say go for it. You know what? This is just me saying, personally, I would not recommend this to people. And these are the reasons why. But if you want to go for it, go for it. I would just recommend if you're like whatever shirt size you are, get the next size up. So if you're small, get a medium. If you're medium, get a large. If you're large, get an extra large. If you're an extra large, get a 2X. And if you're a 2X, get a 3X. If you're a 3X, I don't know if they offer a 4X or not, but I would just, you know, be very cautious getting the shirts because they did change them. So it may, if you do not get the next size up, it may come to be short or like a little snug. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to say, the reasons why is that they just, before they used to really do it for their customers, and it's just, it feels like they don't do it anymore. They just feel like they're just another corporation that's, you know, and that's what they are. And it's just sad that they've decreased what comes with their boxes, the quality of it. But the biggest thing that bothers me is their manufacturers that make their products. I have, this is, this is the reason why I don't, I'm unsubscribed from them altogether, is this is the third time that I'm getting one of their boxes late because a manufacturer has been late getting a product. If you have had issues, and I'm not sure if it's been with all their boxes, but I have was subscribed to three of their boxes. I was subscribed to their regular Loot Crate, the JK Rowling's Wizarding World, and Loot Gaming. So... <clears throat> so let's see here. Let me see if I can pull it up. So it started with the J.K. Rowling Wizarding World box. 
And again, let me see if I can find the email really quick. So, on November 21st, we received, if you were subscribed for the Secrets of the Wizarding World box, can't see it, there we go, you got this little email from, from Loot Crate, and it says, Secrets will be revealed a little later. Greetings. We know you've been waiting to unveil the secrets of the Wizarding World, and we're excited for you to do so. Unfortunately, an unexpected production delay has caused one of the items to arrive late at our warehouse. Due to this delay, your Wizarding World crate will now be arriving, will now be shipped early December, arriving in mid-December. And we actually, I actually got mine rather late. I got mine, I think, December 18th. Please know we are doing everything in our power to get your crate shipped as quickly as possible. We sincerely apologize for this delay and any inconvenience. It may cause. If you not receive your tracking in the email by December 10th or blah, blah, blah. So it was just saying stuff like that. And that was okay. <clears throat> it was a little annoying, but it was like fine because I knew my sister wanted to film um an opening with me for it. So like I didn't mind waiting because I wasn't going to be able to open it until she came home for Christmas. Anyway, so that was fine. So they were having a special with their Loop Gaming. And so I picked it up, I want to say for half off. And it was like really cool. Um, I was excited because it had stuff from franchises that I had heard of. Let me see if I can find it. I want to say, though, that it was, um, here we go. Yep. We got this email. So the theme of it was Tank. So it says Tank is running a bit behind schedule. So, hi, Looter. We're experiencing a bit of delay with the Loot Gaming Tank crate. Two items we've been waiting on to be f waiting on to finish packing the crates not arrived at our warehouses yet. We're working with the manufacturers to get an update and we'll let you know as soon as we have an ETA. We are truly sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. So it's like this is twice now. <clears throat> so I got that e I got the JK Rowling Wizarding World email that it was going to be late on November 21st. I got this email December 4th saying that this one was going to be late. And so it was like whatever it's fine. You know, I've been subscribed to them for over a year now. It's okay. I understand if, you know, things are going to happen. But anyway, so as you guys know, like I've said, I'm going off to school. So I forgot to cancel before the December box got charged. And there was like a Star Wars item in it. So I was like, whatever. It's fine. I'll let the December box come. I'll open it, you know, make a video for the channel, get it added to my box, I have a stack of boxes, of my crate boxes, um, in the corner of my room. I was like, I'll add it to the stack, because I have to get all that stuff packed away. I was like, I'll get it added to the stack, I'll get the stack moved, um, and stored away downstairs in my basement. And I'm like, waiting and waiting and waiting. And so it's the day after the box closed, and they changed it over to the January theme, and I didn't hear anything. And then the day after that, I get this email. Hi, Looter. We've had a slight delay with the shirts in our December Explore crate. We're working with the manufacturer to resolve the situation now, and the good news is that we should have everything shipped out by the end of the month. We are sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. If you have any questions or concern, please reach out to our customer service team. So I'm frustrated because it's like, this is the third crate within like literal months. Like I got this email on December 21st. So within a month, literally a month, I received three emails telling me that each of them was going to be late because of a manufacturer issue. And clearly, if this is happening with all of your crates, you need to either change your manufacturers or start making your products in-house. I can't tell because they have so many different crates. I don't know if this is happening with all of their crates or not, but it's like, if you're having this much, if you're having this many issues with getting your crates out on time, you either, like I said, you either need to get new manufacturers or do what Geekfield does. Geekfield does a lot of their own products. They do a lot of their in-house stuff based on pop culture stuff. And their items are really, really, really cool. Like, I'll show you guys one of their shirts that um, Geekfield did. So, I'm not a huge fan of the brown color of the shirt. But, it's not technically a licensed Stranger Things shirt, but it's based off of Stranger Things. And it's such a cool design. Like, look at that. That's such a cool design. And they made this in-house. Loot Crate, all of their shirts are licensed. So, they have a main... They have... You know. But, like, this. Like, it's still an awesome shirt, but it's not licensed. But it got to me on time. 
And that was just my big thing. It's like, I don't mind waiting for things. I really, really don't. But I have, you know, I'm on a time schedule now getting ready to go off to school. So, like, I'm on a big time schedule. So, my next... <laughs> My my last thing is I, I have never had an issue with customer service from Loot Crate. Their, I will say their customer service team is amazing. I've had times where I've had to send boxes back, where I've had to get replacements of stuff, where I've had to figure out where my boxes were, if they were going to get to me on time. So their customer service team is amazing. Well, you know, I'm concerned because I'm not going to be in this house when this box arrives. And so I'm like, okay, well, I need this thing to be taken care of. So I just sent them a quick little email because it said, if you have an issue, contact customer service. So I sent them an email and I said, I'm moving at the hi, I'm moving at the beginning of January and I won't be at the address attached to my account when the Explore Crate arrives. If you guys can change the address, that one will get shipped to let me know. And I can give you guys my new address. If not, though, I need this box to be canceled just to be like, you know. And I, and I like I've said, I've never had an issue, but I feel like this time around they didn't really look at what I said because I got an email back from one of their customer service reps and it says, hi, Jonathan, thank you for contacting us. Your crate has been processed and we shipped out soon. Your tracking will update once it's been shipped out. If you haven't received your crate when you move to another address, please let us know. So I don't have a change of address form that I'm going to be able to fill out. I'm not going to have a permanent address where I'm going. So it's just kind of weird. Like, I feel like, you know, they didn't read what I said. Because I said, hey, if, like, I can change my address for this one box, can you let me know? Or if you can cancel it, that'd be great. I don't know. I feel like they didn't listen to me this time around. It was just really irritating. And I know this is just, it sounds like petty, petty whining that I'm doing. It's just bothered me because I have been subscribed for over a year now to them. So it just feels like, you know... I just, I don't know. I expect a little more, you know, being there for a long time. And I've been used to, like, the way things are with it changing. It's just, I don't know. I just cannot in good conscience recommend this company anymore. I would highly recommend Geek Fuel. Um, I'd watched videos and I, like, didn't really want their boxes. And then I saw this really cool special for Geek Fuel. And it was, like, you can get your first box for free if you just pay the shipping. So I paid the shipping, got my first box for free, and I opened it. And I absolutely loved it. So... I decided to get the October box. Absolutely loved the October box, but I was like, nope, I'm not going to get November. I'm just, you know, I need to try and not. And then I saw they were doing a special where you get a free, and if you've seen my Geek Fuel unboxing for November, they were giving away a free Elixir lamp um, if you ordered by a certain date. And I did it, and I got the Elixir lamp, and it was another box I loved. I would highly recommend going with Geek Fuel over Loot Crate. You're going to get better items. It's going to be worth it. Plus, you get a Steam download card every month. So, like, you get a really cool Steam downloadable game to put on there. And I've, like, I've gotten three cool games. I haven't put them on yet. I need to create a Steam account and put them on. But, like, you get a Steam download card every month. It's just so worth it. So, but, yeah, that's just why I can't recommend Loot Crate anymore to you guys. Um, you won't see any more Loot Crate unboxings on this. If you do, it'll probably be the J.K. Rowling Wizarding World box. I love that box. They put a lot of really good items in that. I will say that that box has done really well. Um, I ordered the September box to my sister for Christmas and she loved it. All the items in it were awesome. I loved what came in the Secrets of the Wizarding World box. So that one I would have, that would probably be the only thing from Loot Crate I would recommend. But overall as a company, I just don't think I could recommend it anymore. Um, so like I said, you'll never see another Loot Crate unboxing on this channel unless it is the J.K. Rowling, JK Rowling Wizarding World box. Um, you'll definitely see more of the Funko boxes, uh, I'm getting, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely see the Funko boxes. I know for a fact I'll be doing the Teen Titans box and the, um, Smuggler's Bounty Sith box, um, from my dorm room when I go to school. I already have the address changed on those accounts, so I'll be able to do those unboxing videos for you guys when they come. You may see more Geek Fuels, um, possibly, I'm still debating if... I want to reactivate that one or not. I may wait until I'm a little settled into school and, like, I've paid my textbooks and stuff to do that one. Um, some of the, of the Funko boxes I think I've already um, paid for. Uh, it already auto-charged me, and they're boxes I wanted to get, so I'm, I'm okay with that. But anyways, so you'll definitely see those. But uh, like I said, you'll never see another regular Loot Crate unboxing on this channel. 
Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other ideas for any more random rants that I should do, any topics you think that I would feel passionate about enough to <laughs> to spend about 25 minutes ranting, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for sticking with me for this long. Um, yeah, this has been a really fun channel and I just if you guys have any ideas for any other videos let me know in the comment section down below I have some really fun stuff I'm planning for doing for 2018 um but especially since I won't be able to do as many unboxing videos or like Pokemon card opening videos let me know if you guys have any other ideas for videos that I can do starting in 2018 but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe